Hello, my lovely friends. How is everybody? Look at this big bunch of gorgeousness. Have I got some lovely things to share with you today? Hope everyone's feel good. Hi, Helen. Hi, Susan. Hi, Louisa. Hi, Sarah Mo. Hi, Anne. Hi, everybody. Hi, Nikki. <laughs> lovely to have you with me. Thank you for tuning in this fabulous fashion floral feel good Friday. Positive vibes only. Yes for the next 40 minutes or so. So I hope you're sitting comfortably or doing whatever you're doing. And uh, let's get our friends on Facebook. It's a beautiful sunny day down here in the West Country. Hope the sun is shining where you are. So now let me see here. Hello, Facebook. Hello, YouTube. How is everybody? Now my phone was giving me a funny message. Am I the way around? Just let me know. If not, I shall rotate. Yes, I was just saying to our friends on Instagram, it's a fabulous feel-good Friday. It's fashion and flowers and feel-good things to get us ready for the weekend and a bit of positivity. Positive vibes only at the moment. Yes, just for a little bit. So let me know if I'm the right way round on Facebook. Hello everybody, you're in the West Country too, Sarah. Nice to see you. Hi everybody, lovely to see everybody connecting. So what have I got for you today? Well, I have just had a lovely delivery of fresh flowers. And as you know, if you watch me on Instagram, I just love flowers. They are my kind of my guilty pleasure, if you like. They're my little bit of me time. You know, I've been doing on Instagram my five minutes. Well, my five minutes at the weekend often of a bit of kind of creativity and switch off is to arrange some flowers, bring a bit of natural beauty into the home. And in the summer, obviously, I'm lucky I've got a garden. I go and pick stuff. Um, and at this time of year, there's really not that much out there. So I've got some things to share with you. I thought that I'd actually do some floral treats here, seeing as these have just arrived. I've actually bought some for a friend as well. Am I the right way around? <laughs> Let me know. Uh, so yeah, look at these gorgeous tulips. Aren't they so pretty? So these are for my friend Caroline. Yeah, so I'm gonna leave those in the paper. And I've got these already, I don't know if you can see, you can just catch a little edge of them perhaps on Instagram. Beautiful, bright pink. Pink is such a cheery colour, isn't it? Oh my goodness. It's the colour for my Lizelle Wellbeing brand. I chose pink, actually I based it on the colour of um, a beautiful pink camellia that grows outside my studios in London. And um, I used the dark pink mixed with a slightly lighter pink and then the dark green from the leaves. So yeah, really, really nice, love pink. And pink is just such a good color to wear, actually. I often find it works on pretty much every skin tone. It just bounces a bit of pinky light back into your skin. It doesn't drain you, you know how some colors can just leave you feeling a bit washed out. So this top actually is a new one from Aspiga, that lovely ethical fashion brand that I love, my friend Lucy McNamara. Um, and it comes in other colours. Look, she's just sent me some other colours to look at too. Beautiful purpley one. I don't know if you can see, but it's got a sort of smocked back. So it just gives you a little bit of shape. Makes it really comfy and it's got nice push-up sleeves. Another one that I like is kind of not having too much down by my wrists that kind of gets in the way of things. And the other colour that they do, which um, I've got a similar style actually from theirs in the blue. Anyway, we do get free PMP if you use Liz Loves on a speaker. Uh, so that's my little fashion fix for the day. So I thought I would share with you some flowers because I just love them. They are just one of my happy things. They make me smile. And as I was saying, there's not really that much around at the moment. So I've got another little trick that I do that I'm gonna share with you. But first, let me get these into some water. And when I'm doing my flowers, I don't know if you can see this, you probably can't see this so well, can you on Facebook? Let me try and tilt this down a little bit. And then you might be able to, can you see? No, you still can't see the bars, but I tell you what, I will just leave it like that for now because I'm going to unwrap these and see what I've got. I've got some lilies by the looks of things. And some beautiful dark greens. So the lilies, I love lilies because they last for ages, actually. I think lilies are quite a good value flower to get because you can just get, you know, a couple of stems and then they come out 
you know, these will, I think they're stargazers, these bright pink ones, they will open up. So when you are arranging flowers, obviously I've got my, my Christmas present. My ex-husband bought me some Felco secateurs. You cut them at an, end, uh, at an angle like that when you're arranging because what you want to do is you want to get as much of a surface area as you can so that all the water goes up the flower stem. So always cut them at an angle. The same with roses. That's really true when we've got roses to arrange. And when I put them in a vase, something else that I add to keep the water clean, because one of the reasons that the flowers die so quickly is because the bacteria in the water just makes the water go all murky and it's not really uh, great for flower health. So I use, I've got half of one in here, I use either uh, like a denture cleaning tablet, or I think this is a Milton one, actually sterilizing tablet, just break it in half and pop that in the vase of water and it just keeps the bacterial growth down. And then if you can change the water every few days, that's another trick to keeping your flowers lasting for longer. So I'm gonna pop those in there. Hopefully you can see, even if you can't see the bottom of the vase, you can see the top of them. And these, look at the color of this one. Isn't that magnificent? Beautiful, beautiful foxglove. Lovely English traditional flower. And again, nice long stem. So, you know, cut that well at the angle so that you get all the nice surface area. So I'm mixing my dark pinks. I've got a pretty, pretty pink rose here. Again, cut that on an angle. And in fact, if you have sort of woody things like roses or bits of foliage, you can actually just split the stem. So go up the stem like that because then you're giving more opportunity for the water to keep the flowers hydrated. We need to stay hydrated and so do our lovely flowers. Lysianthus, look at that. They're also really good value. I find that they last a long time more than other flowers. So Lysianthus is always a good one. They grow those in Kenya, actually near my family home. Uh, let me put one more of these beautiful um, fox gloves in. Just love that color. Okay, so I've just started that off. I shall finish that a bit later on, but something that I wanted to share with you, which is what I do to make my flowers go further, so to make them better value, is I do, I cheat. Yes, I do, I cheat. Can you believe it? Me, cheating. Uh, what I do, let me just flick you back up again, Facebook. Um, what I do is very often I mix my real flowers with fake flowers. So these are from one of my favorite brands, Interiors brand, Oka. Do you know Oka? Spell O-K-A. Love them. It's a female founder interiors brand. And I think it's founded by three, three British ladies, actually. Um, and I will mix real flowers with faux flowers. And sometimes, you know, if I can't get, um, you know, real flowers, I will use real foliage because that's inexpensive to get hold of. And then I will just put some you know, fake flowers, look at that beautiful allium. And that's a fake one, isn't that gorgeous? And Oka have given us 10% of everything on their website, including these great beauties. So head over there, you just need to use Liz Loves as usual, as your coupon. Um, and the other thing that I spotted on their website, which I ordered, were these. Who doesn't love a peony? Peonies, I mean, they're possibly my favorite flower, runs a close thing with roses. But these, I think, are just beautiful and they're so realistic looking. And the other good thing about when you're arranging um, faux flowers or fake flowers is that you can kind of bend bend them into whichever shape you like. So if you, you, know, you want to angle them to get them into a vase or to make your arrangement sit perfectly. And they've got white peonies on their website and they've also got beautiful, beautiful pink ones. I'm just gonna move this off to one side because I want to show you the other thing that they do because as we know flowers are expensive and they die you know sadly we have to keep them keep them refreshed if we want to keep them in the house so what I also discovered on the Oka website is they've got these beautiful bunches of fake flowers look at that so here you've got your beautiful dark peonies that I was talking about with a little bit of hydrangea 
Um, and then we've got nice foliage. We've got some hops. Look at those, real traditional. I think they're from Sussex, aren't they, in Kent, the hop growing area. So you can get these ready-made bunches that come, you know, beautifully presented with a little bit of raffia. So if you were going to send somebody from some flowers, I know, you know, we're all sending people gifts and feel good things or leaving them doorstep presents, for example. If you gave somebody a bunch like this, it would last forever. Yes, literally, years and years. I've had some of my, my faux flowers, I mean, probably for, I don't know, 20, 30 years. I use them a lot, actually, in my studios in London. I use them sometimes as props in the background of shots or if, you know, if we can't get flowers. Um, or because I'm not there in my studios very often, it's quite nice just to have something cheery for when I come back that you know, hasn't died. Um, and I just thought that was really impressive. I love those. And, you know, pretty much the same cost as sending a big bunch of real flowers. You could actually either treat yourself or send somebody a bunch of the fake ones. And I think that is a really good buy. They even do my lovely tulips. They even do bunches of tulips. Isn't that great? <laughs> anyway, check them out. I will pop the links up as always. And don't forget everything on there. Liz Loves in capitals at the checkout. You get your discount. Great. Just to say big hi to Lainey, who's on Facebook today. Hi, Lainey. Thank you for manning Facebook. Hi to everybody who's new. I know I picked up loads more followers this week. So welcome if you are brand new. Just to say how it works is I'm on Instagram and Facebook at the same time, marvels of technology while it works. So on Instagram, I can't put the links up directly. So if you go to my bio, my little biography, you'll see there's a little blue uh, line of text underneath the, the bit about me, and that says Linktree. And if you click on that, then you'll find all the links to all the things that I talk about, and podcasts and articles and all of that. And then obviously on Facebook, we are able to link, which is great. So thank you very much, Lainey, for being with me online and looking after our friends on Facebook. So a few other things I wanted to share with you. Um, first thing this morning, I posted on Instagram my second ever reel. Uh, which uh, you know I'm kind of just slowly getting the hang of. And thank you for all your comments and likes for that. So I did one on makeup because lots of you were saying, you know, can you remind us what you do and you know where are your makeup tutorials? I have got some on YouTube, obviously, um, but reels are just a really quick. I think they're only like thirty seconds, and you, you kind of edit them all together into this little film and put music on. And I've decided to use more kind of classical music because a lot of the reels that you look at are quite kind of blend. And, and use a lot of pop music and that's quite fun but I think some of mine are more um, I don't know they're just more sort of uh, not meditative but they're just just a bit more laid back you know a bit more low key and actually I was watching it this morning I was checking that it I had uploaded properly and I was just so enjoying the music <laughs> <laughs> that I just let it play. It was just kind of playing in the background while I was in the bathroom, kind of getting ready and uh, just really enjoying it. So yeah, if you haven't checked that out, go and have a look at my Instagram and let me know what you think. Now, lots of you actually commented on my Instagram saying, could I post the exact makeup colours that I was using? And I will, I will go back in. I've had a crazy morning this morning. Um, having to do boring things like accounts and banking. And well, anyway, I managed to get that out of the way. Uh, but I will, I'll go back onto my stories and I will put the details of the things that I've used. So it was just, just a few things really on my face today, a bit of base, a bit of concealer. Um, lots of you wanted to know what concealer it was. It's the Clarins concealer. So I'll, I'll pop that one up. And I've used the Delilah range, which I'm really loving at the moment. So I've got that on my eyes and a little bit of uh, Delilah lip gloss as well. And the cream blush, which I had, which I also really like, I use that on my lips sometimes as well, is a beauty pie one. It's a little pot, a little glass pot of cream blush, and it's so pretty and it just lasts forever. And Beauty Pie, for those of you who don't know, is an, a really amazing organisation. You sign up to it, so you take out a monthly subscription. And then once you're signed up, I think it's only £5 a month maybe, or I think you can get different grades, 5 or £10 depending. And then you have access to all their makeup and beauty things and candles and all the rest of it at cost price. So it's unbelievably good value and the quality is really top. So I do, I genuinely 
love beauty pie and we've got a liz loves code with that the way it works with beauty pie is you sign up so you get your i think the minimum is three months membership um, and you get your first month free so what's not to love i mean free stuff and getting stuff at a massive discount and it's really good quality so yes i do i absolutely love um, beauty pie i'm not paid to say that i just have found that over the years they have never failed me um, it's really good so Fashion Friday, tick, talked about what I'm wearing. Um, the other thing that I wanted to talk about actually is some of the things that have been cropping up this week in the world of well-being. And, you know, we're talking about sleep, how important it is to get to sleep, how important it is to think about things like uh, light. So, for example, switching off our screens, so the old iPads and phones and all of that, because they emit blue light, which uh, stops us from sleeping because it's the light that tells us to wake up. So, you know, cutting down our screen time is really helpful. And then in the morning, one of the reasons why we find it so difficult to get up during the winter months is because it's dark. You know, it hasn't um, hasn't got light yet and our brains are going, well, you know, what do you mean I've got to get up? Because, I mean, it's beginning to get a bit lighter, isn't it now? But still not so much. So anyway, one thing that I found is this amazing light clock. Now, those of you who have been watching me on my Instagram as well will know that having a couple of teens in the house is a bit of a struggle sometimes to get some of them, one in particular mentioning no names kit, out of bed in the morning in fact while it's still morning there's somebody creeping in here hello darling do you want to see me <laughs> i was just talking about teens come on in come and say hi actually you're not a teen anymore can you get through because i've got all these beautiful flowers here I'll try let me move them. this yeah no don't, wow, don't really them. Cool. aren't they lovely and um this is my lovely brella hello oh, hi precious hello so look look at these i have wow. in fact do you want to pick that up can yeah. you manage that because what I wanted to um, show you, oh, it's full of water. it is full of water, just be careful, sweetheart, um, is this is a good little trick for you. I mean, you might like to, whoopsie, we've got your hair caught up in it. Lovely. <laughs> when you're back at uni, mm. is um, you can mix your fake flowers with your real ones. Which ones are fake? Well, there you go. <laughs> Wasn't that good? That was totally unscripted yeah. and unprompted. Can you really not tell? Well, are they all fake? No, no, no. They're half fake and half real. No, they look it? really good, yeah. yeah. Really, really good. Excellent. This is good for wow. you. Look at this little allium. That's your colour. Yeah. Um, did you need me for something? Um, no. Okay, you just I'm coming just to say hi. <laughs> well, funnily enough, do you want to pop that down, sweetheart? Because I want to yes. show you something. See what you think. Yeah, pop oh. it down over there. Um, tell me what you think about this, because I was just saying to our friends over here oh. that one of the struggles that we have, don't we, in this household mm. is getting your brother out of bed. Yes. It is just not funny so what i found is this little gadget look at this okay now i can see it strobing actually on the camera it doesn't normally strobe it's normally just a plain plain um, light it's called lumi and it's an alarm clock radio so he can put his you know kiss fm or whatever it is that he wants to yeah. blare himself up with and yeah. um, what it does is you can set the light so, if you have a look, um, I've got the instruction manual here. You might like one of these, actually, Ooh. because it's called a body clock. That one is the body clock, 700. I popped a link, actually, on my Instagram if you want to see more about it. And I think, Lainey, we've got a link, haven't we, for Facebook. Um, but it wakes you naturally with a sunrise. So you, you set it, and about half an hour before you want to wake up, it slowly just comes into life with a little bit of light so and it says here waking with light naturally has been shown to improve mood energy productivity and the quality of sleep and awakening brilliant i want one of those okay <laughs> but you might have to fight your brother for that one um it says wake up lights can also help those with sad which is seasonal affective disorder which we get when we don't get much light and winter blues, coping with the dark winter mornings. And then you can also set it so at night, it just oh, oh. gradually sends you to sleep. So it gives That's you a nice. fading sunset. Mm. Isn't that lovely? And then by doing that naturally, apparently, we're promoting the production of the sleep hormone, melatonin. Um, and then it says there's a low blue light feature 
to minimise the alerting effects of blue light and prepare you for sleep. So I thought that was really, really oh, clever. Really so you can use it all year round. So it just depends on the on the seasons. You can use it as a bedside light. So you don't have to, you know, you can use light that will be right for that time of day rather than just, you know, switch on your bedside light. And then you can use the sunrise alarm, they say. So it gives you the options. And then, or you can put the music on or the radio on if you want to. And then at night, you use the fading sunset button and it gradually winds you down for and sleep. And it's a radio as well. And it's a radio as well. Doesn't wow. that look good? Yeah, it looks really good. I thought that was really nice. And how are you feeling, my sweet? Because the last time you were with me, mm. we were talking about your vitamin D. Yeah. And how that was improving how you feel and helping with mm. stress and anxiety and stuff. How, how, yeah. how are you doing on it's it? It's definitely still helping. Um, I think um, everyone's just knackered yeah. at this point of time. <laughs> so, Very well put. We're all just yeah. knackered, aren't we? <laughs> um so no I, my mood is good but I think I've just I'm feeling stressed because I've got a lot on yeah. um and as university students we're not really being treated fairly but I won't get into that do you um, know so I too. I was so proud of you I did when after my last live with Brella she had forgotten to talk about this mental health petition that she's part of and so you just recorded this little thing on your yeah. phone didn't you and sent it to me yeah and how's that going because that, that basically tell us about it Okay, so that is a petition to make um, mental health support a part of the university league tables. So when students are applying to university, they won't just see like, oh, 98% of students go straight into jobs or whatever. They'll also see, um, I don't know, this university has the best mental health or the second best counselling sessions or whatever. Um, so it's just making sure that universities are aware of um, the mental health of their students um, and I think it's still going I think the last time I checked there was about 35,000 signatures fantastic is it um, in your on your Instagram have you got it it is still so in my Instagram bio great great so at if anyone wants to at Brella okay great <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to check that out but that's really good and you're involved with your uni aren't you with the um, helping to support mental health with with yes. one of the organizations yeah there. well it's a society called mind your head um, and it's kind of just sort of raising awareness and putting on events for students to kind of go and not necessarily like talk about their mental health, but actually just have a break from um, uni life. I mean, we'd go and like get pizzas and I don't know, do movie nights and things. But the problem is with coronavirus, we can't do that. So there's literally no help for students at all at the moment. Um, yeah. So it's quite tough. It is tough. Yeah. And I think, you know, it's interesting because your brother... Um, the one who's still in bed, is uh, applying. Actually, he's not. To be fair, to be fair, he did have online lessons this morning, so he was he was. He probably did them from bed, though. To be honest, he well, I, I did not see him, but he probably went back to bed. Yeah, with his laptop. But anyway, that's another story. Mm. Um, but I know that a lot of students are doing their uni applications at the moment, and you know, filling in forms and things, and you know, depending on what's going to happen with A levels. Mm. Um, but actually, you know, to your point, if you can check out the university league table to see, well, what is the pastoral care? You know, what is the support? Because we're just hearing the most dreadful stories of student suicides and, and really, you know, terrible, terrible depression and people dropping out and, you know, just deciding that they're going to jack it all in because they can't cope. It's. Uh... I think also like it's really, really sad, but the suicide rate in students has gone up. Um, yeah. Someone that I know actually committed suicide just oh. after Christmas at uni so yeah it, it's really it's serious insane. issue it's yeah it's, yeah it's devastating and those of you actually who follow me on Twitter you can find me on Twitter um, which is I'm the same as me on Twitter uh, I do actually post quite a lot about support for kids and teens and awareness and you know campaigns and petitions and you know just to really try and, and get a little bit of help mm. going there. But I tell you something that I've been taking, and I know that you've been taking your vitamin D, thanks to doing the brilliant Life Code GX. Oh my goodness, wasn't that so interesting? The, the that, genetic, the, the, the yeah. genetic. So that's what flagged up Incredible. that Brella needed lots and lots more vitamin D. Mm. And you you found that basically you don't have the genes that process vitamin D. Mm -hmm. So you need huge amounts 
So you need like 10 times the recommended amount just to get that little bit that can be absorbed. But the difference it made to you was... Definitely. And how long did it take to see a difference? I mean, less than a week. Incredible, Probably isn't it? Yeah, literally a few days. And I think, I mean, you get vitamin D from the sun, don't you? Yeah, you do. And there's no sun. <laughs> so everybody should just be taking it. Yeah, like... uh, yeah. I mean, and well, well, government guidelines say that we should all be taking it. But I think even what was interesting doing the genetic test for Brella and also for Lily, but to a lesser extent with Lily, um, is that you don't know how you're processing it. So you might be taking, you know, the recommended daily amount and thinking, well, that's okay, you know, I'd tick that box. And that's what you were doing, because, mm. you know, I was, you know, I was sending you, obviously, these, you know, food parcels full of yeah. vitamin supplements and things. <laughs> Without realising that actually it wasn't touching the sides. Yeah. You know, for you, you need huge Very amounts. Specific. Yeah. And once you started to top up your vitamin D, um, the difference was just extraordinary. Mm. Really extraordinary yeah, in terms mm. of reducing anxiety and helping with sleep and stress. And mm. despite all these extraordinary stresses and all the awfulness going on, you still manage to stay positive. Most of the time. <laughs> Most of the time. Occasional breakdowns. But there we are. We're all allowed to go a bit, um, yeah, to, to lose it sometimes. But no, mm. on balance, I think it's, it, is, it is really good. So if you haven't yet watched it, I recorded a YouTube video with Emma Bezik, who's the founder of Life Code GX. And I know lots of you have already sent off to, to get your, your genetic testing done for these nutrients. And we've got a special link because she gave us the lowest price ever that she's ever done for anybody. Um, just because I'm such a fan, I'm just, I'm so, I just really want to get this information out there to people because I think it's so helpful. You know, we spend a lot of money, many of us on supplements, but you know, are they the right ones? Do we need them? Do we need more? Do we need less? You know, what is it that we're, that our body is, is telling us inside from our genes? So do take a look because, um, and maybe Lainey, you can pop a link up on Facebook. I think there's also one on, uh, on Instagram there. It's basically you go to lifecodegx.com forward slash Liz Earl and then that takes you to the special package that she's done just for us. And it's a very simple little cheek swab of um, that, that they, they send you a test kit. And then a few weeks later, you get your whole nutritional analysis. And then really important as part of this package is you actually get a 30 minute one to one with a nutritional therapist. And that was really helpful, wasn't it, to explain it? Mm, because yeah, although really you can helpful. read the report and you see the basics, actually, you know, it just throws up so many questions about, well, what do I need and when do I need it and what does this mean and how do the pathways work? And, you know, for example, vitamin D, we think about it for our immune system and for bone health, which is really important. But one of the ways it works is it helps to produce dopamine and serotonin, which are those happy chemicals. So, you know, you weren't producing them. No, neither of them. No. I didn't get any access to dopamine or serotonin, I don't think. Well, and, and she also suggested <laughs> some other really helpful things that came up with your with your report. So it's so, so useful. And then, sorry, once you've clicked on the link, you'll, you'll find that. And then if you want to get it, you then still put your Liz Loves code in um, at the checkout. And then that knocks 15% off. So, you know, it is the best value way of getting mm -hmm. it. And I know lots of you have done it. Um, and you're probably going to start getting your results back in... I don't know, maybe another two or three weeks. So I'd love to carry on this conversation. And if anybody finds, you know, amazing results or some real insights, do please share because it would uh, it would be amazing. <clears throat> so what's not working? Some people are saying that Facebook is sideways. Is it still sideways? I asked you. Mode. Are we not start? Well, do you know? I said at the very beginning, were we? Okay, so. I did say, did I not? As you are my witnesses. Um, there we go. I'm very sorry about that. Amanda on Facebook, I've just seen a little comment, is saying, what can I do for a stiff neck? I had the very thing. Oh, you were just the thing you were showing me? Uh, well, the, the exercises that I did okay. yesterday. Okay. So, go to YouTube, go to the Liz Our Wellbeing YouTube channel, um, and look at what I loaded yesterday. I did neck exercises. I did, on YouTube yesterday. Just for you, okay? So they are really, really good. Um, so yeah, go and go and take a look at that because I get really stiff neck too. So, all right, my darling. One other thing that I was going to mention, yes. and that is, I did a, a live not that long ago with a nutritionist talking about Life Armor, 
and these are the people who make these lovely drops. You know, you have the balance drops and you oh, have yeah, the slumber drops. Mm. Yeah, so we've, really we've all got slumber drops by our bedsides totally. That's the last thing I do. You still take yours, do you? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and she mentioned these little capsules. I don't know if you remember her talking about them. It's called Super Me. And I was thinking, oh my goodness, you know, do I really need to be taking something else? <laughs> Anyway, I thought, you know, I'm going to try it. And it's, I feel really chipper. I feel really bright. I'm going to put you onto these as well. Because I think Brilliant. you could need a bit of a lift. So these have got a bit of magnesium in them, which we know is really helpful for stress and mood. And then these are the adaptogenic herbs. So it's got ashwagandha and rhodiola, which is another of the adaptogenic herbs. And then also passion flower, which is a really, it's lovely, isn't it, talking about flowers today. So passion flower, you often find it in sleepy bedtime teas. It's a really calming, kind of just gently relaxing, anti-stress herb. And anyway, she said, look, just take these every day alongside your normal vitamins, because it will give you that little extra bit of support in for stress. Morning. Oh, I take anything. mine in the morning. I take mine with food, actually. So I take mm. it sort of like late morning. Um, yeah, it says here, two capsules daily with food. Um, it says, take time to unwind. And yeah, I just, you know, it's always hard to know, isn't it, exactly what's working. But I do. I love the little um, metal and cardboard pot they come in. I've been taking these. So maybe, should we do a little experiment? Do you yeah, want to, sure. Do you want to start taking them in addition to your vitamins? And then, yeah. um, and then see how you go. But great, it says here, unwind and feel super again. That's what oh, we need. That's what we need. <laughs> please, 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 please. Right, okay. So you're going to... Um, yes, I have, I have a rehearsal. Oh, you do? Okay, Sorry. my sweetheart. Sorry, that nice top there. Thank you very much. Thank you. We're sort of matching pink and purple. Lovely. My lovely girl. I'm so yes. grateful to have you at home that I can hug. Yes, well, I'll be home next week as well, so... Great, great. If you want to see me again. Yeah, yeah, we do. We love seeing you, my love. Love okay. seeing you. Bye. Take care of yourself, my darling. I'll catch you a bit later okay. on. Um, hopefully you're going to help me cook some supper tonight. Sure. We've cooked a great Would recipe. No. Um, I'm hoping. I'm, oh. Yeah, I'm going to see if I can pick some up. Yeah, so. Okay. We cooked uh, last night. We were doing a cauliflower recipe. So this is yearbook one, which I'm delighted to say you can now read for free on Readly. So Readly is the magazine app that, uh, so Liz Our Wellbeing magazine is on there, plus, I don't know, at least 10,000 other magazines. It's amazing. It's a really, really good app to have. And not only the current issue, which is this one, but I think we've got about a dozen back issues as well. So if you're a newbie to Liz Our Wellbeing and you don't have all the back issues, then it really is the place to go. So uh, you'll find a link in my um, Instagram bio or I think Lainey you can pop a link up can't you my lovely on uh, on Facebook so basically Readly is a subscription service you s I think it's 7 99 a month first month is free if you put is it Liz Loves or maybe it's just using the link that we've got gives you the first month can't remember anyway um, it's a really good deal and what it does is once you have paid that you can read anything you like free so all sorts of magazines. So if you're into crafting or cooking or knitting patterns or gardening or DIY or football or motorsports or, you know, just reading articles, you know, Vanity Fair or Vogue, you know, whatever it is, then you can just read it online. It's amazing. And I don't know if we're the first brand to ever do this, but we put the yearbook one, which is out of print, onto Readly. So now when you go to Readly, if you just click Liz Our Wellbeing, you'll see all the magazines and you'll also see the first thing that pops up is Yearbook One. So all, whatever it is, 200 odd pages with all the recipes and ideas and articles and whatever, you can get on Readly, which is great because alas, we have sold out and we're not gonna be able to reprint this. This was Yearbook One, it was published a few years ago. Um, I have got Yearbook Two, which is a very beautiful book. And I've got those here at the farm and I'm signing them and sending them out and you, you can't find them in shops. It's only from us direct. So if you would like your Yearbook Two before that one sells out as well, then uh, do please go and grab it. Um, just to finish off actually, the lovely people at Life Armour, which I was talking about, the super me, uh, we do have a 20% off Liz Loves, or maybe it's 15%. Um, but Life Armour have also given us 
um, a great subscription gift at the moment. Now, let me just check. Yeah, it's 15% off your orders on Life Armour. And they have these little drops. So these are the little drops that Brella and I were talking about. So we have the slumber drops for sleep, the balance drops for just kind of day-to-day -day stresses. And then this one, which is drops of vitamin D and vitamin K, which is for bone health and immune system. And also, as Brella was saying, you know, dopamine and mental health. These, I think, are £22, but you get one free. If you subscribe, if you're a new subscriber um, and you use direct debit, then you get a free, free one of these. But just to say, there are not that many left, so be quick. And also, um, when you subscribe, so if you're a new subscriber, then great, you can just grab it all for yourself. If you're an existing subscriber, you can still get the gift, but if you send this to somebody else, so you, know, you can give a gift subscription to somebody perhaps who's struggling a bit or who just needs a bit of a pick-me-up, a bit of a lift. It's going to last all year, so it's not just a one-off. You know, you get six issues. In fact, you get a saving because you get six issues for the price of five and free uh, postage and packing in the UK. So if you do that, if you send it to somebody else but you want the gift, you just have to say that in the little comment section. You just have to say, look, you know, this is, you know, sending this to whoever. Um, but actually, could you please send the drops to me at whatever? Or if you want, you know, they'll just both come to the same place. They don't come at the same time. So it takes about two weeks, I think, for the direct debit to get set up. And then once it's set up, these get posted out. So they won't come at the same time as the magazine. Um, so just to let you know about that, because I know lots of people were asking me last time, but we do still have. Oh, Boo the cockapoo, stressed beyond stressed. What are the drops, please? Okay. So, uh, oh, somebody else had a, a, an issue with their subscription. Contact Warners, okay? If you go to lizardwellbeing.com, where it says buy the magazine, there's a phone number there. They're really good, Warners, and they will absolutely sort you out um, and resolve any issues. Their customer service is really good. Uh, so if you are stressed beyond stressed, oh my goodness, where to start? Vitamin D, really, really important. So get that somewhere. We, we also have a Liz Loves, I think, on Better You, which are the vitamin D sprays, which I really like. Um, and then uh, consider something like the adaptogenic herbs. So these drops are called balance drops from Life Armour. Again, you get your discount on those. Magnesium, also really important to make sure that your magnesium is high. I take magnesium in the morning and I take it in the evening as well. I take it two hours before bed. It really helps me sleep. Um, check out all my podcasts. I've got lots on stress and coping and mental health and all of that. It's, it's really important actually, never more so. Um, something else that I really enjoyed learning about, I hope you heard me on Wednesday talk about something which is new, which I think we're going to be hearing a lot more about, lactoferrin. Did you hear me talk to Stephanie, the founder of the Leapfrog Remedies? Really fascinating. And I've been taking this uh, and it's, it just stops a cold in its tracks. It's extraordinary stuff. Uh, lactoferrin is an ingredient that we're going to be hearing so much more about. It occurs naturally in the body, but we get less of it as we age, like so many things. You know, our supplies dwindle, just like our estrogen starts to plummet and, you know, all the other things that, you know, we, we need to rely on. We, our bodies become less good at making and producing. So we get less lactoferrin. And actually today, being Friday, if you're watching me in real time, it is, of course, time for the Friday Five. And the Friday Five is my weekly well-being podcast, and it's just me chatting with an expert that I've found to be really interesting that week. So it's always very topical, the Friday Five. And after I recorded the Instagram and Facebook Live on uh, lactoferrin with Stephanie, I actually invited her back. And I said, look, could we record something about lactoferrin? Because I'd love to know more about it. There's just so much in the news about our immune system and support for our immune system. And it would be really interesting to look at some of the studies, particularly in relation to keeping well during these difficult times. And so she, yeah, so we, we recorded a new episode. So that's going live today. So if you are into podcasts, I think it's only about 20 minutes or so, um, go to Liz Our Wellbeing on your normal podcast app and, and you'll be able to download that and listen to it. I'd love to know what you think, because for me, listening to the data and the studies, I think there's nearly 9,000 
studies published on PubMed, which is the absolute, you know, top level gold standard, proper peer reviewed evidence based um, research library. And it's free. You can go onto PubMed and you can look at all these studies. And if you type in lactoferrin, uh, which is what I did, obviously, after talking to her, uh, it was just extraordinary. All sorts of things, osteoporosis, gum health, microbiome, immune system, skin, you know, Alzheimer's, lots and lots of studies. They're looking at lactoferrin for all sorts of different things. I think it's fascinating. Um, and this is her remedy. Um, I think it's, it's unique. It's a lozenge. And it contains lactoferrin with zinc and vitamin C. Um, and there is a Liz Loves code on that as well. So certainly well worth looking into. Now, before I go, I'm going to just have a quick look at some questions and comments that have come in. Uh, oh, Pam on Instagram says, how do you spruce up your faux flowers? Mine look dusty. Do you know what I do, Pam? I run them under the tap. Literally, that's all I do. You know, some people hoover them <laughs> with a little handheld hoover. Um, but uh, yeah, I just run them under the tap. I, I just think it's great. You know, I've got several, if I, I haven't got one here, I've got one on the other side of the room, um, which I bought years ago. And it just, it just sits as an additional pot plant in my, in my house. And then obviously I bring in, you know, fresh things. The other thing actually I've got here in the corner, this is something, another one from Ochre. Um, you can get all sorts of things. Look, look at this beauty. <laughs> Isn't this amazing? So again, you know, if you're in your living space or workspace, you know, maybe you're, you've got a little work from home area. It's nice to be surrounded by green and foliage and uh, just great to have these things. So, you know, they know that psychologically plants and flowers, real or faux, just give that mental health just a little bit of a lift. Um, it's like if we're in a gym or you're working out, they've worked out that if you work out in a space that's painted green, you actually work harder and faster and you get more results. So, you know, if you've got, you know, if you're working out at home, you know, in a, in a green room um, or maybe, you've, you know, converted your garage into a, a bit of an exercise shed, you know, with a, 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 you know, a couple of weights or something, you know, paint the wall green. Why not? You know, every little helps, as they say. Uh, so anyway, yeah, that's how I um, that's how I clean my fake flowers. Anyway, um, yeah, eye strain. Okay, this is another question that's coming up here. So one of the things, obviously, we're all looking at our screens so much more, aren't we? I mean, yesterday, for example, I was back to back on Zoom, pretty much the whole day. And I had to remember to keep getting up and moving and stretching. And this constant, you know, zooming in literally with your eyes, always looking at the same distance is really bad for the eyes. We get a lot of eye strain through that. So you've got to remember the 20-20-20 rule, okay? So every 20 minutes, you take 20 seconds to look at something 20 feet away. Okay, so 20-20-20, every 20 minutes or so, um, just take 20 seconds and you change your vision. So your, your point of focus, you know, I'm now looking, I'm actually looking at some brickwork out in the garden, <laughs> looking over there. And I'll just, you know, stay looking at that for a bit. So my eyes are now focusing in a different trajectory to then just, you know, constantly being here. So all you guys have been watching me, you know, at the same distance after this, because uh, we're about to finish, you know, just look further away. You know, it's no good just to look up and look at something different. You've actually got to really physically fix your vision on something that's that's quite a bit further away to use those muscles. Um, Jojo is saying that they look uh, green as the colour of this year. Yeah, definitely. I think um, why not? Let's make it green. You know, green is just means so much, doesn't it? On so many levels, being green. Um, could you advise me, Liz? Um, Okay, this is about HRT. Uh, okay, so I've got so much information on HRT on my website. You know, if you've got some time this weekend, just, you know, there's a whole section. It's called Healthy Menopause. You click on that, you've just got like dozens of articles. It's all free. You can download it all. There's no, no issue there. 
Um, I have got a couple of downloads which are paid for. I think they're four ninety nine each, but they're more like books, really. One is on healthy menopause, and the other one is the truth about HRT. So do please look at that one because what you've said here, this is Tracy actually on YouTube. Hi, Tracy. You are saying, um, could you advise me? I tried HRT patches. They didn't agree with me. I don't want to take tablets. My doctor said there's no other choice. <laughs> there's loads of choice. Okay, so there's the gel, two different forms of gel. There's Estragel and there's Sandrina gel. So they're both the same. They, they're just in different packets. The Sandrina is in sachets, the, the, the Easter gel is in a pump. Um, there's also a spray called Lenzetto that's now available on the NHS as well. So yeah, definitely. Um, of course, yeah, the gel replaces patches. Yeah, so if you want to. I like the gel because I find you can vary it. You know, with patches, that's a set dose, whereas sometimes you find that you might need to adjust the, the dose and it's much easier to do that if you're using the gel because it's, you know, you're using two pumps or three pumps or four pumps or more than that in my case. I don't absorb it that well through my skin, so I actually use six pumps. And in fact, there was a comment that came in um, via my team purely about that, saying I'm having to use six pumps of gel uh, I've run out of space on my arms because when you read the directions, it says apply to your upper arms. Well, do you know, I've, I've podcasted about this and I've spoken to specialists, medical experts, and they say it doesn't matter where you apply it. You know, I use mine on my hips and thighs just because that's a slightly bigger surface area, shall we say, than the rest of me. And it's absolutely fine. The reason that it says in the directions, apply it to your arms, is because that's where they did the clinical trials for the license. So they have to stick to that. They can't say you can use it anywhere because it hasn't been tried clinically that way. Um, but it, it just goes through the skin. You know, you could rub it anywhere, frankly, and it's going to get into your body. So... Um, and that's not from me, that's from medical experts and doctors. That's not my medical advice. Uh, so is sourdough good for IBS? Yes. Oh my goodness. Anybody with digestive issues, I've talked about my father and how he can eat sourdough but can't eat normal bread. Um, yeah, definitely give sourdough a try. If you've got issues with IBS, do head over to Liz Our Wellbeing. We've got lots on gut health. Again, there's a whole section on menopause, there's a whole section on gut health, and there's also a download that you might like, which is called A Happier, Flatter Tum, and it's all about bloating and IBS. So that might be very good for you. Um, oh, podcast with Dr. Tina Pears. Yeah, that's a good one. That's all about histamine and ivermectin, which is another drug, a very safe antiviral drug that's being used at the moment um, all around the world to, to help with COVID. So that's a very interesting podcast to take a listen to. Um, oh my goodness, just wow, so much. Uh, this is good. This is from Sophie on YouTube, who says, Hi Liz, I recently hit 60, never really done much running, but over lockdown started doing a light jog for two and a half to three miles most weekdays. It makes me feel so great and so much stronger. Well done you, that's fantastic. Gently embarking on the yoga route as well, um, which seems so much fun. I'll be doing the stretch that you've shown in the YouTube, YouTube video along with others. As the old saying goes, if you don't use it, you lose it. Sending best wishes to you. Love watching your videos. Very uplifting and interesting. Thanks, Sophie. Very nice to have your comment. Thank you very much indeed. Yeah, I'm loving actually the, the YouTube, all the videos that go up there. Um, it's uh, it's really good. So Bev on Instagram, you are talking about makeup. Um, could you recommend a good range that lasts for ladies of a certain age? Yeah, wow. I like the Delilah range. I was recently sent some things by Delilah. I'm going to be doing a podcast with them quite soon. Also, there's another really good range specifically for uh, more mature ladies called Studio 10. And that's very good. And I think we have Liz Loves actually with both of them. Let me just check if you want to go and check them out. Yeah, there we go. Wow. OK, so Studio 10, which is studio10beauty.com. Um, they uh, are using, there's a Liz Loves 20%. Um, but to get that, apparently you've got to go through the link. So maybe, Lainey, you can pop the link up there on Facebook. And I'm sure it's on Instagram if you want to use that. 
and then Delilah, that's the other really nice British beauty brand that I'm using at the moment, that's delilahcosmetics.com um, and they also have 20% off with Liz Loves, so there you go. So yeah, I, it's so nice to get all this feedback about makeup, I'm going to be doing a lot more I think about makeup, Mondays I think I'm going to do makeup Monday. Yeah, I do like my alliteration. So flowers and fashion on a Friday, makeup Mondays, makeover Mondays. Uh, just to finish off, I know these are going into the newsletter, uh, which will be coming out later this afternoon. If you signed up for the newsletter, you'll be getting that in your inbox around tea time. So watch out for that. We've got some really lovely things in there this week. Um, but these are my little heart-shaped earrings that I'm wearing all the time at the moment. My little Kenyan mangrove earrings. And just in time for Valentine's Day, my jewellery team have put them at 30% off the fair trade gold vermeil 24 karat fair trade gold vermeil and you can get them in three different colorways so there's the rose gold which is what i'm wearing the yellow gold or the rhodium which is the lovely shiny silver color and this is how they come in the little box look at that Ding -ding. can i pull that open yep whoops <laughs> they come like that and there's a little card a little authenticity card um in there yeah, that tells you about the range. So there you go. So yeah, if you want those perhaps for Valentine's Day or want to drop a big hint to somebody, then that's how you will receive them. And they're sent out special delivery next day because they're quite precious. So you've got, you know, a little bit of time. You've got another, what is it? Where's Valentine's Day? Is it next Saturday, I think? Saturday week? So yeah, you've got, you've got a little, little bit of time to get your orders in for that. You don't need a code. Um, actually, you do need a code. I'm sorry. What am I saying? You do need a code. Uh, you need to use the code MANGROVE, M-A-N-G-R-O-V-E, MANGROVE. That's to get your 30% off. And yes, a question's coming in about the flowers. It's OKA, O-K-A, OKA. And if you use Liz Loves, you get 10% off. Just to remind anybody who arrived late, this is what I was talking about. Aren't these beautiful? I love that. I love the fact that Brella came in. And she hadn't seen what I was doing because she's been doing online working this morning. So she didn't realise that I was you know, setting up my flowers here and she couldn't tell the difference between which ones were, were real and which ones were fake. So, And that was quite up close. And look at these beautiful bright pink peonies, hydrangeas. I would love to get a bunch of these through the post. I really would. And as I say, if they start to get a bit dusty, just take them out of your vase, run them under the tap. <laughs> Good as new. Anyway, on that note... I shall love you and leave you. Thank you for being with me. Don't forget that Friday is such a feel-good day here at Liz Our Wellbeing. We've got the newsletter, which will come to you if you're signed up for that. It's just a free subscriber newsletter. Lots of great things in there for the weekend. The Friday Five podcast, that will be going live any minute. It's a really good listen if you want to learn a little bit more about lactoferrin and this ingredient that is naturally in our bodies. It's found in mother's milk and breast milk. It's a really important thing for babies to get off to a good start in life. We carry on producing it um, th all throughout our lives, but we decrease as we age. And it is just an extraordinary thing. I think it's, uh, it's amazing. I love being able to share all these amazing positive things. It's good news. It's only ever good news. Well, not quite only ever good news here, but for the most part, we try and only ever have good news or solutions if there is an issue. We hopefully try and find a quick fix for it. Anyway, sending lots of love. Thank you for all the hearts. Lovely to see all the hearts on the screen. Sending you massive hearts back. I'll be back here live on Monday for a makeover Monday bit more makeup so tune in then have a lovely weekend take care lots of love bye bye